What's up guys, Jeff here for Mad Hatter's Reef and today we've got a brand new video for you. We're going to be taking a look at the top 10 fish only wrasses for your fish only setup, whether it's a fish only with live rock or just a fish only, whatever the case may be. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video because we put out a new video every single week. Now, fish only wrasses, what does that actually mean? They are not your ideal candidates for a reef tank. They're not a fish that is going to do well with corals or invertebrates, whatever the case may be. So it's definitely important that you make sure that you do your research before you add new fish to your aquarium. You don't want to just go to the local fish store and pick up a new fish and throw it in your tank because there's a good chance that it might not work out and it could be a predator of something that you already have in your tank or it could just chewy chomp on your corals and that's not good either. Coming in at the number 10 spot on our top 10 fish only wrasses is the two spot wrasse. Now I think a more fitting name for this guy would be like a zombie wrasse because even though that it has some very muted colors there's also some pretty crazy reds going on with this fish as well and the fins are just absolutely gorgeous but it also looks like it might not be actually alive pretty crazy this guy is considered easy to care for has a semi-aggressive temperament carnivore based diet so that's going to make him not so reef safe because he loves himself some inverts. They grow upwards of six inches and require a minimum tank size of 75 gallons. Now at some point I plan on setting up a fish only system whether that be for butterfly fish or not so reef safe wrasses one way or another this guy may just end up in that tank. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 fish only wrasses is the two tone wrass. Now this guy, as far as price point goes, pretty decent, $30 for a very awesome wrass. As far as care level goes, he is easy slash moderate. And that's not something that you typically see very often with a saltwater fish. Nonetheless, they have a peaceful temperament, carnivore based diet. They are a reef safe with caution. So there is potential for this fish to work out in a reef tank. But I would strongly encourage to make sure that you do your research and even test this fish in a controlled environment before just throwing them into your reef tank. They grow upwards of 5 inches and require a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. Now, one of the most important things to mention anytime that you're talking about wrasses is that the tank will need a lid because wrasses are known jumpers. Coming in at number 8 on our top 10 wrasses that are not so of the reef safe is the gold bar wrasse. Now this guy's pretty interesting in its colorations and body style. Now the body, everything from the gill plate back looks pretty similar to what you would expect from a fish only style wrasse, but the front of him is pretty interesting. This is literally a line that goes just behind his gill plate and then his head is completely different than the rest of his body. He has some blues and some oranges going on in there. Very, very interesting. He almost has like a harlequin tusk type style head very very interesting wrasse this guy's moderate care level semi-aggressive in its temperament carnivore based at it is reef safe with caution so there is potential for this guy to work out in a reef tank but like we already talked about definitely important to make sure that you test that out prior to just putting him into the tank because there's a good chance you're gonna have to rip your tank apart to get him out of there they grow upwards of nine inches and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 is the gray head wrasse. Now this guy, coloration, whoa. He actually looks like a picture that should be on one of those adult coloring books or some type of crazy color by number. Very interesting in its coloration. It has blue, teals, reds, blues, purples, yellows. The body has like this polka dot thing going on into this yellow back fin and its head has some striping between like almost like a fiery orange gold with blue stripes. Absolutely incredibly beautiful wrasse. Price point, not horrible, $70 for this fish. And as far as the name goes, it doesn't really fit the fish because you would think that, uh, I, I would assume some type of like dull colored wrasse, but that's definitely not the case with this guy. He is moderate care level, has a peaceful temperament, carnivore based diet, is reef safe with caution, can grow upwards 
of six inches and requires a minimum tank size of 70 gallons. Coming in at number six on our top 10, not so of the reef safe wrasses is the red chorus wrasse. Now, as far as colorations go, absolute stunner. It reminds me almost of a blue spotted jawfish with a whole lot of orange and red going on. Definitely a gorgeous fish. Price point, not too bad either. You're going to pay anywhere from $45 to $60 for this fish, really depending on how big they are. And care level, moderate. He has a semi-aggressive temperament, carnivore-based diet. They are reef safe with caution. So, again, one of those deals that you want to make sure that you're testing that fish out prior to adding it to your reef tank. They can grow upwards of a foot and three inches. That is absolutely huge. It requires only a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. For me, I don't think that that's even close to the tank size. I would probably go 180 gallons or bigger for this guy. But no matter which way you cut it, this is an absolute beautiful wrasse, and I'd love to have one in my reef tank. Coming in at number five on our top ten fish-only wrasses is the Dusky wrasse. Now, this guy... Interesting coloration. has a little bit different of a body type than a lot of the wrasses that we've already looked at on this list. Very, very beautiful in its coloration. Almost looks like a discus. It has some greens and oranges and blues in the head. And then it goes into this like bluish purple colorations into like blue fins. Absolute stunning fish. They are typically going to be anywhere from $45 to $60, really depending on where you're picking it up and how big this fish is. Biggest concern with this guy, though, is he is difficult care level. So this is a fish that should really only be left to the experts. They have a peaceful temperament, carnivore-based diet, are considered reef-safe. So that's the first fish on this list that is actually reef-safe. They grow upwards of 6 inches and require a minimum tank size of 75 gallons. Coming in at number four in our top 10 wrasses for your not-so-reef tank is the blue-headed wrasse. Now, these guys are very interesting in the body type. A little bit different of a mix going on with this guy, but the head very similar to what we've seen in some of the wrasses on this list. Colorations, different hues of blues and greens, and it has that orange on its dorsal fin. Very, very interesting fish. Very friendly on the wallet as well. 30 to... $40 depending on where you're picking it up and how big it is. This guy is easy to care for, has a semi-aggressive temperament, carnivore-based diet, is reef safe with caution, and can grow upwards of 7 inches and requires a minimum tank size of 75 gallons. A absolute beautiful wrasse. Check it out, the blue-headed wrasse. Coming in at number 3 in our top 10 Fish only wrasses is the bird wrasse. This guy is absolutely awesome looking. There's definitely some differences between the males and the females of this type of wrasse. So make sure if you want the sharper of the two, you're going to probably want to go with a male. The females are, tend to be a little bit more duller in their coloration. Actually, they don't even really have much of the same coloration at all. They're very sexually dimorphic. Females are kind of browns and tans. With the male, as you can see here, Green and blues and just a very interesting shape. And that head is where this guy gets his name. Probably one of the more expensive wrasses on this list coming in at about $110. Easy to care for. Has a semi-aggressive temperament. Carnivore-based diet is not reef safe. They can grow upwards of a hardy 11 inches and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. Coming in at number two in our top 10 not-so-reef tank safe wrasses is the Formosa Rass. I hope I'm saying that right, but I'm sure you guys will correct me because you love to. These guys are very interesting in their coloration. They have a polka dot with like some gray and black going on on the main part of the body. Red fins and then that red to white to orange slash yellowish coloration. Definitely a interesting ras. They, as far as price point goes, anywhere from $35 to $45. And there's definitely a huge difference between what the male is in, in comparison to the juveniles, which are very different. They're almost like a brown with white stripes. They almost look more like a beta clownfish type deal. They are moderate care level, semi-aggressive in their temperament, carnivore. They are not reef safe. They grow upwards of two feet and require a minimum tank size of 180 gallons. 
And coming in at the number one spot on our top ten not so reef safe wrasses, an absolute breathtaking fish, the banana wrasse. These guys are absolutely stunning in their coloration. They got orange, yellowish, green in coloration. Price point pretty high, typically at $150, $160, depending on where you're picking it up. This guy is easy to care for, aggressive in their temperament, so it's something that you need to take in consideration. They are carnivores, not reef safe. They can grow upwards of a foot and require a minimum tank size of 125 gallons. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, and I will see you on this video, which we're going to talk more about wrasses. So check this video out. I will see you over there.